Yes, how's it going? Welcome back. Now, this is the video I promised you guys, part two to how I do my mixed reality. Before I start, just want to give a little shout out to You Can't See Me Gamer, Retro Game Players, uh, Rab2748 for 2784 let's plays and uh jerome's layer they're awesome channels they're always there to back me up i really appreciate it and uh this is one of the reasons why i can make videos like this is because they uh they give us the confidence to uh, carry on so thank you guys i really appreciate it so i thought i'd just stick your logos up on my screen just for the time being anyway all right guys well back to the video uh we're gonna be concentrating on a chair in a room it's an awesome game, really good game. It works with mixed reality. It's, I've, I've played it. I've got a video that I did ages ago, like nearly a year now. So it, it's not it's not the greatest video. I should actually redo it. Um, so basically, we're going to get cracking, get straight into it. So we're going to start this game up. Here we go. Okay, let's go to the play option. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click on the game, a chair in the room. So we have properties. Uh, Browse local files. Now we gotta add a file. So we're gonna create that, we're gonna create that file right now. So what we're gonna do is right click anywhere in the in the white space and new uh, text document. So and we're gonna rename it to, uh, external camera. Just uh, open it up. And basically what we gotta put in here is uh, your FOV. Okay, here we go. Here's my control panels to my Logitech Brio camera. And what's the cool thing about this is that I can actually pick what um, FOV I want. Okay, so I'm going to stick with eight, uh, 78 degrees. So I'm going to enter 78. Forgive me. Near equals uh, zero, one, zero, oh, whatever far will be equals 100 and go save yeah I'll save it so what we've got to do now is ex um, change the extension of the file the name of the extension so if we go it's C F G I'm pretty sure that stands for config but don't quote me on that so it's asking us here you know you're ex changing the extension of your file and you just go yeah I know and then there we go so now we're set up for mixed reality so that's fine we can just close that if we want we did we just did we closed it okay so here we go I'm gonna minimize this so next step is to start up VR I guess yeah that's all that's what that's what I would do I would uh, kick in my VR all right so there we go we got that all set up I've got my Vive booted up I'm gonna turn on my controllers now uh, controller one, controller two, okay, controllers are on. Hold down your alt key and hit play. So hopefully that should give us a resolution that we can play at. So I want to pick, I'm working at 4K at the moment and I want to produce a, at least 720p video. So if that's the case, I need to be working at 44p. So we're going to, yeah, Windows mode, okay that. But as you can see, we're just getting a view from our HMD. So what we've got to do now is we're going to plug in our third controller. So once I plug this in, it should just go boom, boom and, and, and click into mixed reality, fingers crossed. So what we've got here is our quadrants. We've got this split up into four. This might not have worked properly. Let's have a look. Sometimes just give the camera a little wiggle. There we go. Now we're in. We're in. Yes, it worked. Okay, so basically what we've got here, as you can see on the top uh, right hand corner, you've got your alpha layer. Top left hand corner, you've got your foreground layer. Shut up. Um, bottom left hand corner, you've got your background layer. And the fourth one is really useless, to be honest, because it doesn't actually, it's supposed to be from the HMD, but it doesn't actually show you, it's sort of like a cropped, it's sort of cropped from, so it's, it's basically useless. I'm gonna have to sit on my squeaky chair. Sorry about this chair, it's really squeaky, I'm gonna try not to move as much. 
Okay, so what we've got here, we've got our quadrants, like I said. I'm gonna open up OBS, and the cool thing about OBS is that they've got an actual Mex Reality plugin, which I should leave in the description. So all you need to do, it's really simple to install. There's, they've got a guide there and instructions, it's easy. And um, just get that installed. And then that's it really, and then, and then we can start doing real mixed reality in OBS and you can even live stream it. So this is this is basically what I'm going to be doing now, uh, giving you the option to live stream your mixed reality video straight to YouTube. So now what we're going to do is go into OBS. So here we go. So we've got our webcam set up. Now what I'm going to do is go add Windows Capture. Going to OK that. And then from this drop down menu here, we're gonna select uh, a chair in the room. Here we go. There it is, there it is. And we're gonna hide our cursor, because that is always a nightmare. So we shall stretch this to it covers. There we go. So now, is that right? That's not right, is it? No, it's too. Excuse me. Okay, let's just put that in the corner there. I don't, I don't know why um, it's actually giving me, it doesn't matter anyway, we're working at this resolution, so be it, well you can see me there, hi guys, hi, hi, okay what we're going to do now is we are going to add a mask, basically this, the top right hand quadrant, yes, the top right, can I say it? Sorry, I'm really sorry, it's it really confusing. The top right hand quadrant, the one that's all white, that's your alpha layer, and basically that's gonna tell the, the quadrant on your right, top right, what to cut out. So whatever is white is gonna stay on the foreground layer. So what we're gonna do now, I'm going to add a mask. So here we go. I'm gonna add, no filter, sorry, filter. And then we're gonna add uh, image mask bl uh, blend. So we'll okay, okay that. Now this is the cool thing, this, this is like, this, this is why you're gonna need that uh, Mix Reddit plugin that you can download from OBS website. So once we've got that, we've got, we got this type here, we can, we're gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom to subtract um subtraction and then once we've got that this is the weird part that i don't get but i do it anyway and it works so it asks you to call in the image like it's got like a jpeg i guess so what i usually do i go to my pictures and I've, i always use these eyeballs these eyeballs here i don't know why I just do now that's basically cut everything out of this. So the base, that's it. So if I, if I go, if I close that now, now, as you can see, oh, my hand, where's my hand, put my hand in there. There we go. That's all cut out, all cut out. So now all I've got to do now is crop the image. So let's, um, let's call this the foreground. It's going to be the foreground. So let me rename this. Rename that. Uh, see, well, that, this is what happens when you uh, when you when you're not active because the controls can switch off, and when they switch off, it kills your mixed reality. So fingers crossed, it's going to come back. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to call this. Let's call it room uh, foreground 4G, and we'll just all okay that. So now we need to right click it, filter. Um, add so we're gonna crop it now. We're gonna crop it so okay. So I'm pretty sure I'm working at 720p, so that means I'll be cropping from the bottom 720. Yep, and then from the right, it's gonna be 1280. So there we go. Now we've got 720p, which is awesome. I mean, if I had if I had a better graphics card, I'll be able to do 1080p. But at the moment, my computer just isn't powerful enough. So we're gonna stretch this. Stretch that out. Okay, so now we've got our foreground, but we're missing the background layer. So we're gonna right-click anywhere around there. 
we're going to go um, Windows Capture again. OK that. And then we're going to go down and drop down menu and select um, a chair in a room. Yes. OK, so we've got that now. So we OK that. Get rid of the cursor because that could always be a nightmare. OK, let's uh, increase the size of that. Oh, yeah. Trying to play funny, funny buggers with me. Here we go. Put it in the corner. We can just we can manually adjust that after. I mean, I don't know why it's giving me this dodgy resolution, but to be honest, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so we're going to add a filter. So let's just rename this in a moment. So this is going to be our background layer. So we'll call that Room uh, BG for background. Okay, and we need to crop it, so we need to add another filter, the crop filter. So we'll right click, add uh, crop, okay. So we need a bottom, so it's going to be the top, top 720, and the right. Um, 1280. So there we go, we've got our background layer now, which is looking sweet. All right, here we go. So we're going to line that up roughly, and we're going to drop that to the back. So now we have roughly lined everything up. It looks about right, I guess. Let's have a quick let's have a look at these controllers. They look about lined up. Oh, pretty cool. So now what we've got to do is slip my webcam in between. So there we go. And I've still got to add my chroma key. So if I right click my webcam, filters, uh, add chroma key. Okay. Okay, that's just more, that's good enough. Let's just leave it like that for now. I don't want to. Do you want to push my luck? Here we go. Ooh. Can we adjust it a little bit? We'll leave it like that for now. Okay, we're on. Wow. Okay. That's weird. Oh. All right, cat. Be careful. So now, let me just out of the way. Shut up. What I got to do now, because it's weird, because I've got like my, because of it's basically because of my camera, I'm working at. Um, I'm gonna have to reduce the size of my camera because uh, of my FOV. So this is what this is when it gets really tricky, especially when you're on your own. So this is this this is like a lot of trial and error. So this is this 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 this, this can be the most awkward part to be honest. Especially when you're on your own. So I'm gonna grab our webcam and we're gonna manually just reduce it. Just so So I'm going to leave it like that for now, just so I can get an initial, initial bench benchmark. <laughs> tiny, I look, I look so tiny. <laughs> oh, I got to get a bit bigger, make myself a bit bigger. Sometimes I can sort of hold up one controller and line it up like that, which helps sometimes. Okay, let's have a little peep. It's a little peep. Okay, I need to move to the side, I think, a bit. Move to the side. Come on. I might have to go down a bit smaller as well. See, like, well, if I was working it out at um, an FOV of 90, could you imagine how small I'd have to make myself? I think it was Oh man, okay. So, and another thing that, that's really cool, because I can readjust myself from the camera, so it doesn't all have to be from the computer. So as you can see, I'm, I'm quite lined up now. 
but I'll move too low. So basically, if I go and move my camera a bit up, instead of the, instead of the it should. So I've basically got to come up. So that means I've got to move my camera down, I think. <sighs> okay, let's see what that done. Getting close. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close. Oh, might have done too much there. Oh, here we go. I've got the right hand. I've got the right hand. There we go, guys. Here we go. See, what's happening is that my. I'm just going to chop a little bit of my head, which is rubbish. Okay, what I can do, I'm going to adjust my, my in game camera. Pull it up a bit, so that way. There we go, so I'm less likely to get my head chopped off. But that's at the moment, that's pretty cool. Look at you guys, it's not bad. It's not bad. So what you could do now is uh, just hit your live stream button, you're basically live streaming. You're live streaming mixed reality. So let me get my. Uh, if you guys actually want to see me do a video, I, I have got a video of this, but it's not it's not done so great. Okay, so uh, I can teleport. I guess. Let me just try and grab. There we go. Let me grab that. Let's see what that looks like. Look at this stuff, mate. Look at that. That's awesome. So this is mixed reality. This is how we do it. This is how we do mixed reality. This is awesome. I'm pretty sure I can teleport so we can smash stuff. Cheers, good throw. Oh shit, I'm breaking my controller. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it was helpful and handy whatever you want to call it all right guys we'll take it easy and if you're not subscribed to us hit that subscribe button it really helps us out and we really appreciate it and go and check out those other channels and adj plays i didn't forget about ya i didn't i promise i promise i didn't i didn't i really i didn't i didn't anyway guys take it easy and have a good day or night or evening whatever time you're watching this video <laughs> all right bye guys bye bye bye